Biogas plants produce biogas, a combustible gas with a high methane content from biomass. In most biogas plants, the biogas is burned directly in the CHP unit and thus used to generate electricity and heat. In Germany, as much as 5.2% of total gross electricity consumption was covered by biogas plants in 2020. The number of biogas plants and thus their share of electricity generation increased sharply in Germany especially from 2004 to 2011 and has remained relatively constant since then. In this video you will learn how biogas plants work and why they can be a very important part of the energy transition in the future, even though a further expansion of plants in Germany is probably not sensible. The central process in a biogas plant happens in the fermenter. This is the usually round container with a flexible roof, a kind of bubble that can be seen from afar in biogas plants. Biomass is fermented in the fermenter. A wide variety of biological waste is used as biomass. In agriculture, for example, slurry and manure, as well as energy Crops are used as substrate, but also waste from food production and material from the organic waste bin can be used. Often, however, not only waste is used, but extra plants such as corn are grown as substrate, where the biogas yield is very high. The biomass is mixed in the ideal ratio depending on the biowaste used and then fed to the fermenter. During fermentation in the fermenter, a large part of the biomass is decomposed anaerobically by the bacteria, i.e. in the absence of oxygen, and converted into methane and CO2. For this purpose, the mass must be heated to 32 to 42 degrees Celsius, which is around 90 to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition, hydrogen sulfide is produced during fermentation and a digestate remains made of materials that cannot be utilized by the bacteria. The hydrogen sulfide is then removed from the biogas by a filter. The digestate, dry or liquid, depending on the type of plant, contains a lot of nitrogen and other nutrients and is ideal for use as fertilizer. In most biogas plants in Germany, the biogas, consisting of methane and CO2, is then fed directly into a CHP unit and converted into electricity and heat. This has several advantages. The biogas can be burned directly despite its high CO2 content. With the resulting usable heat, the fermenter can be heated on the one hand and the farm and any greenhouses or similar can be heated on the other. Depending on the size of the plant, it can also be fed into a local heating network if there are other heat consumers nearby. The alternative, especially if there is not enough heat demand nearby, is to fed it into the gas grid. For this purpose, however, the biogas must be further upgraded. In particular, the CO2 must be separated. Since the processing is costly, this is only worthwhile for large plants. After processing, however, the biogas can be fed into the gas grid and used just like natural gas. But how much energy does a biogas plant actually generate? The electrical output of the biogas plants with CHP ranged from 30 kilowatt to several megawatts, so they can be dimensioned relatively freely. More interesting is the energy per area of arable land that can be achieved. With energy rich crops such as corn, ideally over 20 megawatt hours of electrical energy can be generated per year per hectare of land, i.e. an area of 100 times 100 meters. With an electricity consumption of about 3.1 megawatt hours per year per household in Germany, this means that about 6.5 households per hectare can be supplied with electricity. The generated heat can also supply one to two households with heat. Due to this large area required, Germany with almost 10,000 biogas plants and the electricity share of 5% is at a limit where a further significant increase does not make sense. 
Nevertheless, biogas plants can become a more important factor in the energy transition in the future. Biogas plants produce biogas relatively constantly, which is nowadays usually burned directly in the connected CHP. As a result, the electrical output of all biogas plants in Germany is currently always constant in the range of 4.5 to 5 gigawatt. However, compared to other renewable generators, such as wind and PV, CHP units are controllable. The biogas can be stored directly in the fermenter for a few hours or relatively easy in a gas storage tank for longer periods. This heat generated by the CHP can also be stored cheaply. In this way, biogas plants can be used variable in the future similar to gas-fired power plants to stabilize the power grid. For biogas plants that feed into the natural gas grid, the variability is even higher and long-term storage is also easily possible. Thus, biogas plants offer an inexpensive and reasonable possibility to operate the grid safely and reliably in case of a further increase of the PV and wind share in Germany. My personal opinion is that biogas plants work very well as an admixture in the energy mix in Germany, especially where only bio-waste is used that is otherwise not needed. A negative effect of biogas plants is the increase of corn monocultures, as this can maximize the yield of biogas plants, but there are many negative effects in terms of biodiversity and other issues. Currently, however, there is a trend against only corn towards more biodiversity through other plants. From my point of view, the flexible use of biogas plants makes absolutely sense and new plants should already be dimensioned accordingly. The connection with power to gas plants is also an exciting idea. This allows the CO2 in the biogas to be used directly for methanation and additional gas to be fed into the gas grid. This also simplifies gas processing. If you want to know more about the energy transition in Germany, watch this playlist here and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest technical developments in the energy transition. 